Hey, in this video, we're going to take a look at awork.io, a very nice user interface and user experience of a project management tool. So we're going to go in, set up a new account, and start creating some projects. So stay tuned for this one. Hey, everybody. This is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. And I'm going to take a look at this product called awork.io. Now, I found this product, and I will say I just went to their website, and you can kind of see it's not in English. When I went to this in Google, Google automatically translated for me. What I'm going to do, and I suggest you do, because I don't think they're set up to kind of detect where you're located, is I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and change this into English, and now we'll be able to take a look at what these guys are doing. So this is just your project management. I've been covering a lot of this on the YouTube channel. You know, I love tools with a beautiful user experience and interface. And from the, the website, I love the look and feel of how they're doing their, their, their boards and their lists and their task management and their communication. I mean, these, these website images are reminders. They've got some good time tracking in here from, from what I understand. This is what I like here. Look at this. They actually are putting it on calendar here showing you how much time you spent on something and they're doing some pretty innovative stuff that I'm not seeing others do like the Google Assistant integration and I don't I don't do that Google smart Google home and Siri and that kind of stuff but I'm sure some people do and this is what I like about it best it's, it's free to start with in fact let's look at the plans and uh, oh, looks like I got to go back to English you know I, I will say that's one thing nice about Google Chrome it automatically translates this stuff on the fly Let's go ahead and get rid of that cookie notice. You'll see here, free for up to 10 users with three active projects. That's pretty good for a small business. And then the premium goes up to 10 pounds. Assuming that's a pound symbol. You know me, I like things in U.S. dollars. But uh, let's let's actually just go ahead and get started and see what this product looks like on the inside. And hopefully it'll be translated to English but, but we'll take a look alright so far this looks pretty good that the, the sign up form is in English alright let's go ahead and put in my David at techsmartboss.com email address and it gives me some instructions on how to set this password so I'll try to follow them and put me a special character in there okay accept on the terms and sign up you know I don't like using Google or Facebook or any of those to sign up. I like using good old email. So let's go ahead and see what their onboarding is and if it continues to be in English. So it's taking me into my dashboard. Okay, this is good. I can understand this. What's my name? David. I even put my last name. It didn't ask me, but let's see. And let's see if it takes me through sort of a little setup on how. Okay, what's my company workspace? Text smart boss. How many people belong to your workspace? I'll say two to ten. And what types of projects? So there is some onboarding here. We'll see if this translates into things. I'll say, uh, give me the defaults. I like that. I just want to see what it is by default. Even though they might have populated some some sample projects based around that. All right, let's create your first project right of way. Uh, all right. So now, what's going to be this project called? I'm going to say. We want to do a new micro website. And which project type would you like to use? A customer project or internal? Well, this is an internal project in this case. And I'm not going to invite any of my team yet. Let's create. So it looks like there's definitely an aspect of customer and internal. And let's go to that project and take a look. So again, I, this is a great onboarding process because it's you, you can see here, they're showing me as we go through here the basics of the project. I can set up some tags, a description. Okay, here is the recent activity on the project. And there's a timer. A lot of time, let's re create some tasks. So that's wonderful. All right, manage your projects and the tasks. Let's go ahead and just skip through this real fast. Kanban, listen to our podcast on that. We talked about that quite a lot and why that's pretty useful. You can assign. I, tell you, I really like the interface here. And they've put some time into their onboarding. And it's still going on here. Let's uh, see if we can get out of this. All right. Let's add a task since they took us here. Uh, let's add a task list first. And I'll call these major activities. 
and I spelled it wrong, but I won't worry about that. Let's add uh, determine a domain, and let's see if I hit this. Uh, okay, I've got some elements on here. I can select from a. All right, that's just switches the task list. I can set a due date. Let's make that do then. I can assign people. I'll just assign myself since I haven't. Uh, and I can do time tracking. I won't do any time tracking at this point. Let's say then I want to come up with a WordPress theme. And let's this time I could change that. I could hit the plus and just add that. So pretty, pretty straightforward there from a task list perspective. And I can show my done ones as my hide those. Let's look at the board perspective. So that's the Kanban um, structure. So I can easily drag and drop these across. Pretty nice, pretty easily. There's a time tracking if we want to do that. But I'm not going to dig into that at this point. Uh, let's take a look at all of our projects. Remember, you could have three projects. So I can easily switch between the projects. And there was a concept of a dashboard. There it is. Let's see what shows up on my dashboard. So a couple of... Couple of um, Widgets here, they kind of bring my task into focus. This is my top 10 task. I can start my timer right from there. Let's actually just do that. Let's see what this does. If I did want to, yeah, here's my tracking of my time. All right, I'm going to skip through that. Let's go back. Let's go back to my dashboard. Let's just log some time, see what happens here. I can pick the project that I wanted to log time for. Pick the task that I want to log. So that this this is pretty important for many organizations. I personally don't track time at this level, but if it was billable, you can kind of see here that you can track that aspect. And um, this here is not. This is letting me manually input the time, but I think that if I come and click here, then this perhaps will actually start to let me hit a clock at some point. Yeah, so you'll notice that it's running. There it is. So I've got that kind of running, and if I hit the pause button, then I'm sure it'll associate that time. Let's go ahead and hit it and see what happens. There it is. So you'll see 18 seconds were spent on that. That's that's pretty cool. All right, let's go back and look at what else we have. We have projects. We got workspaces. So I can set up multiple projects within this workspace. Let's do a customer project see how far I can get without putting anything in here and what's your projects initial status I am in the planning stage let's say so that's I mean, there's a lot of thought in this this is I, I, this is a newer product I just came across this product but I can see that there's been a lot of thought behind the creation of this product let's take a peek under settings before we end this video and see what else I can change I can put my logo there and kind of personalize that so while I have these two project types that we saw before I can add my own project type with a set of icons on it so that's very nice to be able to customize for your your business I can create task bundles so that sounds like a repetitive sort of a, a we're gonna follow the same process each time type of work I can add different types of work I can start to set my permissions Let's see what a user has permissions to do. Well, this is just a role, but uh, and I can assign people. So it doesn't necessarily, oh, there we go. If I click on user, I have some pretty, pretty good definition of, of what I can define that a user can actually do. So this is pretty nice. And keep in mind, it's free for 10 users and three projects. And then, oh, you know, I love Zapier. So, and then they've got webhooks and Slack. I mean, this this is just ringing all the bells for me. So, I like this. I like this. I want to play around with this uh, a lot more. Uh, we've looked at a lot of project management tools. There's that switch language. I'm glad it started in English versus uh, in in German. But uh, a lot of lot of features here to work through. Check it out. Sign up for this free version before they change their mind. And um, I think this could be a project management tool that that I mean it's a, it's a lot it's a lot nicer from an interface perspective it's a lot easier to understand the flow of it 
than many of the tools that we have uh, looked at in the past on a YouTube channel and just go back and look at all of our videos if you want to see those in fact if you like these type of videos subscribe to our YouTube channel check out our Facebook page and techsmartboss.com and see what else we're doing and next week we'll put out a new one leave a comment let me know what you think about a work and I'll talk to you in the next video